We all know what it's like to be around people that are incessantly negative, that are very pessimistic, that never have anything nice or good or uplifting or positive to say. And we know what it's like to be around these people day in and day out or every now and then or during the holidays, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Labor Day, whenever. And being around critical people really does have a way of gnawing at and grinding at both your self-esteem, your sense of confidence, your sense of value, your sense of worth, whole nine yards. But I have noticed in my own life personally that we don't take as much time to notice the people in our lives that are actually helpful to us, the people that actually believe in us, the people that actually support us, whether that's financially, whether that's with, some people are just phenomenal gift givers. I personally am surrounded, I don't know what's going on with that car, I personally am surrounded by a lot of people and I have a lot of people in my friend circle that are phenomenal gift givers. I don't know how they do it. Really, it's just they're very intentional and without putting much effort into it, they have a way of giving the most sentimental, thoughtful gifts in the world that you could ask for. It's not that they're necessarily expensive, but they are heartfelt and they are intentional and they are phenomenal and I don't know how they do it. So I have people like that in my life. I also have individuals in my life who for years have openly and unapologetically, both privately and public publicly expressed their belief in me and the gift that's in me and the call that's in me and the dreams that I have and they have always been in my corner and I can actually count those people I'm 28 years old and in 28 years of life I can count maybe definitely on one hand and maybe maybe two fingers on the other hand how many people in my life are actually like that but what we tend to do is magnify and focus on the people that bring us grief and not enough time focusing on the people that are actually supporting us in whatever way, shape, or form that they do that, whether it's financially, whether it's showing them, showing us that they believe in what it is that we're doing, that they believe in the gift that we are, whether it's with gift giving, whether it's with financial support, whether it's showing up to an event that you're doing or showing up to an event that you are a part of. There is someone, I personally believe, multiple someones, in your life somewhere and that in some way show and demonstrate to you that they believe in you that they love you and that they matter so my challenge to you today in today's car thought is to take the time to reflect on those people think about those people and then take it another step further and actually go out of your way and say thank you to them it can be a simple text message. You can write them a letter. You can you can give them a phone call. If that's what you go for, I'm not really a phone dude, but if that's what you go for, do it. Find a way to express appreciation to the people in your life that believe in you, that support you, and that love you. Because here's what it's going to do. One, is going to make their day better, which your life is always going to be better when you make somebody else's life better. But two, it is going to help you reframe your perspective on life from the pessimistic, cynical, everybody's out to get me and everybody's out to kill me mindset that is very easy to slip into. And for some of us, it's a little easier to slip into than others. But the natural go with the flow mindset is you can't trust anyone. No one believes in me. No one supports me. I'm on by myself. Taking the time to reflect on, appreciate, and express appreciation to the people that genuinely do believe and support you, even if it's just five people, will be a game-changing practice if you add it to your life, I promise.